for match number three of your Spire Surf 2024 Open Conference. Our first referee is Mr. Mark Santos. And our second referee is Mr. Ryan Corpus. It's time to meet the starters of your Maverick Hard Hitters. Beginning with their team captain, opposite spiker number 11, Russell Palisok. Outside hitter number one, Jerome Cordes. Middle blocker number four, John Rabino. Center number 12, Wilbert Sebrero. Middle blocker number 16, Jethro Cabillan. Outside hitter number 23, Franz Rakaza. And their starting libero is number nine, Stephen Sundiang. The head coach of the hard hitters is Mr. Erickson Ramos. Introducing the starting lineup of your Criss Cross King Crunchers. Beginning with their team captain, opposite spiker number eight, Isai Marasiga. Outside hitter number two, Sharon Rekintoy. Middle blocker number four, Kim Malabunga. Outside hitter number five, Jude Garcia. Middle blocker number seven, Rex Inta. Center number 14, Ish Polvorosa. And the starting libero is number 22, Mano Sumangid the third. The head coach of the King Crunchers is Mr. Anusorn, Ty Bundin. And welcome inside the Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Uh, you look at the crisscross King Crunchers for the first time. It is a heavy collection of talented players from various top collegiate leagues uh, and across the net wearing the black and green as a collection as well of varsity players from other universities and fast. This is the collegiate leagues the that is the maverick hard hitters hi everybody thank you for watching maverick us day number two of the spiker surf eric Tipan with coach ronnie magsano and uh, it goes without saying coach that the uh, Players in blue obviously are the heavy favorites oh, coming yes. into the opening set. Start Definitely. Set. Not just in this match, but all throughout the competition. Yeah. Definitely uh, Signal and uh, Criss Cross will be the top two teams that will be in the compass of uh, all the other teams. As Kim scores in the first offensive block to register the first point. Para dito sa Criss Cross Crunchers. Kim Malabunga, two-time UAAP champion, a silver medalist in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Uh, right King away, Crunchers. King Crunchers on the board first. Ish Polvorosa yes. serving. The many-time best setter award. Five-time UAAP and best setter. also a part of the national pool as well. Also. And the national team. Oh, nice hit. Uh, coming the from block. the team captain, Razel Palisok. Who uh, you mentioned earlier, Coach Ronnie, one of the players who uh, saw action for the Alpha Omega Elite. And uh, during that stint for uh, the Elite Spikers, he was the number the one scorer hitters. for them. Expect more touches, expect more pace to be run here for Paliso. And you mentioned Rakaza, the former FEU high school player. He just served. Malabunga, back to back points. Rakaza was also a, uh, an MVP in high school. That's right. Uh, for the UAP Junior Division. That's serving one. Take a look at that last uh, first attack point here. Courtesy of uh, Chris Cross. Once again, Pose a one point lead. Ito na yung mga beach yeah. volley force. The coach Tai Bundit. Polvorosa to Jude Garcia, who played beach volleyball both in college and for the national team out of FEU. Talking about the season 81 second best outside spiker from Pakistan and a three time Southeast Asian Games bronze medalist in beach volleyball, returning to indoor volleyball right. and performing joint forces with the uh, Who's Who in uh, men's volleyball. Speaking of Who's Who, we just saw uh, Rikinton serving. Uh, a nice block by Malabuna. This is a multiple best blocker awardee. Talking about Kim Malabunga, part of the champion team of coach uh, Dante Elinsunurin. 
for the NU Bulldogs at uh, isang national player na din yep. the second block of this first set 4-1 start for the King Crunchers against the hard hitters much better pass Ooh, miscommunication there uh, miss hit Garcia skying high for the kill Nico Iwab coming from Kim Malabunga as the middle hitter but Garcia has been on point Malabunga with 3 points and 2 blocks 1 point of attack 4 point lead here Para dito sa CKC. Ayan. <laughs> Crisscross. Crunchers. And an early timeout for Coach Erickson Ramos of the Maverick Hard Hitters. A good news for all volleyball fans, the PVL, UAAP, and Spikers turf can now be enjoyed on One Sports via high definition. Catch the games on One Sports HD Channel 17 only on Signal. One Sports HD is available to all active signal prepaid and postpaid subscribers. You can just you can just uh, sense the depth yeah. of uh, the Crunchers, really. Multiple uh, champion in both UAAP and in the Spikers turf and in the Southeast Asian Games. Uh, the medaled competitors. Oh, but a nice hit there by Jerome Cortez. We mentioned he played for the the Navigators Iloilo. Probably, hindi lang sila yung top players, but sila na rin yung pinaka-highest level na narating. That's right. Para dito sa team ni Coach uh, Erickson Ramos. This is player number 12, Wilbert Sebrero. No, this is Cabillan, Coach. Cabillan ba to? Jethro Cabillan. Ayun, ito si Sebrero sa Cabillan. There is a nice set. A hit by Palisok. Sumanggit, back row, Jaron Riquidon. Got it. They had the chance to also cover the Canton when he used to play for the UST That's right. team in, in their volleyball before he went and focused solely and exclusively para dito sa Southeast Asian Games or sa national team. Pero alam mo ba, marami sa kanila yung mga manlalaro ng Queen Line, Full right. Smashers, Beach Volleyball. Beach volleyball. So the transition was easy because there was already that connection. Off the block, Cordes will score again. Off the block point here. Three attack points para dito sa hard hitters. One Palisok, one Cordes, and the other, of course, in that last sequence. Still down by three points. Razel Palisok out of Pangasinan went to Olivares College. Pangasinense. Pangasinense. Oh, what tough setup for Pulvorosa. Pulvorosa will send it to Garcia, who drills it into the... Attack line. Woo. What Multiple a shot. Points coming from Malabunga, and now it's Jude Garcia at the open. So, my kita mo dito yung husay ni tong si Ishpul Vorosa yeah. talaga. At kabisado niya yung kanya mga kasama. One of the top uh, playmakers in the country, of course, itong si Ishpul Vorosa. Pintay, Bisay, Marasiga. Tubong Imus. Diba? That's Kaya right. Kaya naglaro sa Imus Aja Spikers. Solid block this time by Rex Intal. Third kill block of the set. That's three of the first eight points. Dalawa from Kim Malabunga. Isa to Rex Intal. And as we reach the technical timeout, the count stands at 8 against 3. Set 
Isai Marasiga serving for Chris Ross. Spiker Surf Open Conference. It's been exactly two months since Coach Tai Bundet arrived in the Philippines, trained with his team, and even though they're practically composed of stars in the men's volleyball scene, Sabri Coach Tai, they're all treated the same way, undergoing the same tough training. Eric and Coach Ronnie, in the past two months, they have been training six days a week as they are already eyeing a championship here in their debut conference. Meanwhile, sa lahat ng nagtatanong at nag-aabang, the earliest time daw for Mark Espejo to join the team is by the third week of April. Eric and Coach Ronnie? All right, thank you, Doreen. Very lofty expectations, but if you have, like what you mentioned, Coach, as you see uh, Garcia with a single man block, if you have a collection of players who have experience and won medals in the collegiate, pro, and international uh, you know, level, obviously. Then you have to set the bar as high yeah. as you can. And you're also mentored by a multiple UAP champion. That's right. And also responsible for the first uh, three titles, at least, ng Cool Smashers sa kasaysay ng uh, PVL. So, they were formed not just to be a strong team, but to be a winning team. That's and of right. course, uh, go they're going to be the biggest roadblocks uh, para sa Signal Age Spikers, sa uh, tangka ng Signal Age Spikers, muli makuha ang kampinato sa Spikers Turf. Exciting times for men's volleyball kasama ng Eric. And Definitely. There's a, there's a challenge in that last sequence as we enter this part of the match when it's a 10-3 on a 4-0 run kung sakali para kila Jude Garcia at sa kabuan Nang C K C. The challenge is a net touch by the hard hitters. But believe it or not, this is the first time Coach Taibundit is handling a men's team in the Philippines. And he just came off handling for the first time as well, just last year, um, the men's team in Thailand. He handled both the women's and men's team of Nakhon Ratchasima. And he won medals. Not surprisingly. Not surprise. <laughs> no surprise. That's why uh, his winning touch yeah. has been recalled once again here in the landscape of the Philippines. At uh, ito yung uh, huling sequence. May net touch ba? Uh, foot? Nope. No net touch. Uh, unsuccessful challenge for the hard hitters. What impressed me here the most is how Jude Garcia's head is above the net. Sa akin yung flexibility niya eh. As well, right? Kaya nga sabi mo, baka tumama yung paa, di ba? Pero tumupi eh. Uh, Nagtutubi mo kasama ngayon. <laughs> Ganun yung control eh. Imagine, the, the surface that they play in, in beach volleyball, beach. gano'ng kahirap yun. Pero just to give you an idea, Jude Garcia is not that tall. He's 5'9". But, I mean, since his FEU days, Coach Ronnie, you know, as they completely oh, yes. shut out uh, the attacker, he has been a very explosive jumper. A lot of uh, the vertical has been excellent. But uh, really, when you come off the, the program of FEU, Greg Dolor among others, right? Ejet Mabayad, George Pasca from way back. Alam mo na talagang uh, quality player. That's right. And uh, what we're seeing of Jukers here right now is no surprise, really, but something that we expect. This is a... Uh, 6-0 run. Wow. Black points. Six para din dito sa crunchers. We're now on top by the biggest advantage. After the score stood at 6-3, this is a 7-0 surge. Generated by that 6-0 lead in terms of kill blocks in favor of the blue and orange. And Coach Ramos will burn his final timeout here. We'll listen in. All out, all heart, all Filipino. Catch the 2024 PVL All Filipino Conference every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, RPTV, and Pilipinas Live. PVL, the heart of volleyball. And so far, what we are seeing here is that the blockers of uh, Chris Cross is able to defend the really, young setter. Alam kung saan pupunta, markado yung pupunta. Now let's see. How well the playmaker that doing narinig natin to sa timeout will be able to elude that uh, three-man block that has been thrown at them by Chris Cross time and again. Iris Polvorosa with a hit, kept alive. Sebrero, easy block up top, Jude Garcia. 
What is that? Two blocks already? For, three blocks already for Chute Garcia. Three is better than two. <laughs> but seven is a lot than none. That's seven of the first 14 points coming from the block department. And that wow. is a big key. A big difference. A major one indeed for an 11-point lead. Marked but an, by an 8-0 surge here. And the lead is in double digits at 11 for the King Crunchers. And they finally, the hard hitters, finally get a side out on the down-the-line attack coming from Cordes. Four points, four attack points. But of course, the percentage has been down simply because more blocks than attack points. Seven blocks, six attack points. Oh, and a nice block as the hard hitters, Coach Ronnie, give the King Crunchers a taste of their own medicine. It's a rare two-point run here for the yellow and green, but enough to once again generate a little bit of momentum. Now, let's see if this con will continue to roll here for the hard hitters. Much better pass from Requinton. Uh, they get to Marasigan once again. Sebrero. And that is a point for Rakaza. This is now th three straight points here for the hard hitters. So that final timeout called by Coach Ramos has worked for them. Nakita mo, mas marami ng vocal kanina ron. Nagsasabi, underdog, dapat mas matapang, mas maingay. Combination play to Garcia burying the ball. And that's the value of an Ishbol Borosa. Jewel Asia is also there. A multiple spiker steer champion who comes from the lair of uh, the Del Sal Green Archers. We'll be alternating with the uh, Ishpal Vorosa so La Sal Atine of Table. Ah. <laughs> that is on the line for Garcia. He gets an ace. Stops a three point run, restores a nine point lead. Indeed, rather, biggest advantage earlier 11 at 14 3. Jude Garcia, leading scorer right now, para dito sa team. The coach Tai Bundit with, I believe, uh, eight points. Eight of the first 15 built around three kill blocks. And that went into the net for the former best outside hitter in season 81 of the UAAP, Jude Garcia. That's also a three-time bronze medalist in the Southeast Asian Games. Pride of Pangasinan na tatawag. Overpass. That's going to be... Oh, wait a minute. It's overreach. an overreach for La Casa. Talagang matatakam ka eh. Pero bago tumawit, nakawit. And we're going to be... Second technical timeout. Second technical timeout. 16-7. Uh, it's all King Crunchers here in the opening set. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Uh, yesterday, we had a glimpse of uh, the Signal Navy matchup in the Philippine Air Force versus the uh, Kanilang Katapat. Ang rich mark na kupuna. The Signal winning in three straight sets versus the Sea Lions. Uh, also ushering in a new a generation of players. That's right. Para sa HD Spikers under still champion coach Dexter Clamor. Well, Borosa out to Jaron Requinton and he gets it. Always wears his heart on his team. Always animated. Let's take a look at the Spikers turf president, Miss Eliza Valdez. I also, of course, Sports Vision, top official. Ricky Palu, the proponent of men's volleyball or volleyball in the country. Kasama sila Tony Boyliao, of course. That's right. During the time na wala pa sa ganitong level ang volleyball noon, kasama ngayon. That's right, coach. 
And nice block by Jaron McKinton. Coach Taibo did likes that effort. That skill block number eight. If you're correct, para dito sa crisscross. Walo. My goodness, walo. Sa labing walo. E first set pa lang ito. And kung blocks lang ang pag-uusapan, the eight points of the King Crunchers match the eight attack points of the hard hitters. And Kabilian had nowhere to go. So that's nine kill blocks Chris of the 19 point the output. Point and that, clear as day, is the major story. So imagine mo na lang yung porsyento ng uh, attack rate para dito sa hard hitters. That's right, coach. And fans haven't even seen Pembagalay. They haven't even seen Vince Mahulabdan, Jewelasia, uh, Chu and Giga, Pian Glorioso. Ten kill blocks. Another block. Krong Arbasto hasn't even seen action. So this. This is a solid lineup for Coach Taibundit and Chris Cross. Talagang kay Chris Cross ka para makapuntos ka. Again, the challenge is sa playmaker at sa mga hitters to try and score yeah. against that three-man wall thrown at them by CKC. Severo, tough setup. Another block. Malabunga denies at the net. Nasipag at syaga para kay Kim Malabunga muli na ng mga nagbunga. 11 offensive blocks out of the 21 point out. Over 50% for total score. Coming from those defensive plays that puts in much of the points. Offensive blocks, kill blocks, name it. They posted 11 of the 21 for another 13 point lead. Sebrero sets it up. I was dug by Garcia. Tough back set for Manasiga who knocks it in. Excellent. Defense coming from Garcia. Leading to that transition play once again. So it's not just the blocking that's there. The floor defense is also omnipresent. Paradito sa blue and orange. Now on top by 14. Three points away from locking in. Closing out set number one. A floater on the serve by Polvorosa. No combination play still denied at the net. I have not witnessed uh, a defensive display at the net like this, Coach Ronnie. First time I've seen this type of carnage <laughs> in terms of uh, blocking. Offensive right? blocking, really. Sunut sunut. Eh. Marami na yung lima kasama ng Eddie. Exactly. Marami yung labing isa sa buong laro na three sets. That's right. Sung sweep man. Ilan na ba to? 14, 13, 12? 12. Twelve in a set? Mm -hmm. That's half of the set already. Nam puntos ni crisscross coming from blocks. Orado seeing action for the first time. Para sa hard hitters. What a dig by uh, Sumang. Sumang hit. Rikintorn! Not only do they score off the block through offensive blocks, but they will kill you with transition plays such as Chris those. Ishpul Rosa has been in superior point. control here. And the combination plays have also made it difficult for the hard hitters to defend. Si Garcia, si Requintón, even Isai Marasigan for that matter on the opposite side. This is match point already for the Game King Crunchers. Set point. Kasama ah, sorry, set point. And there it is. Overpass and Requintón puts it away. It was fast. It was swift. And definitely merciless. And after the first set, In 22 minutes, the first set over. 25-8. There's no mercy for the King Crunchers as they crunch the hard hitters to bits in the opening set. Coach and Ronnie. that final tagline on that hit was over and out. And that is exactly what happened in the first set. It's over and CKC is out.
an absolute demolition by the crisscross king crushers of the Maverick hard hitters in the opening set. 25-8 was the finish. And uh, the most impressive part was most of the players who scored had a lot of their points coming from guild blocks. Players such as Jude Garcia and Kim Malabunga, the Quinton. In fact, yung kay Intel, yung isang puntos niya ay galing sa offensive block. So this is the type of uh, system that mayroon si, na mayroon si Coach Ty Bundit and this sends a strong signal to the rest of the opposition. But meanwhile, as we focus on the first set, a lot of the highlights ay sa panic ng Blue and Orange. Doon sa puntos naman na uh, walo para dito sa team ng... Uh, ng uh, rather sa punta sa nakuha ng Mav uh, Maverick Hard Hitters makikita natin konti ng sablay dito ng CKC kaya nga walang puntos lang sila eh. they had 4 early points and 4 attack points after that they had a good run dun sa sumampa sila sa walong puntos in fact the lead was just at 9 at 16-7 so from that 16-7 count kasama ng Eric it was to end a 9-0 draw kaya nga sabi natin over and out because of those numbers and the most the biggest number there aside from the plus 5 in attack points the number of offensive blocks with 12 probably a record yeah. here in the spikers turn and I've never seen a set where there were more blocks than attacks that is probably the first time so a terrific start uh, to say the least for Criss Cross and uh, that defense brought a lot of excitement yeah. something new and uh Something new that we will see for sure in the system of uh, Coach Tai Bundit, and that is going to be good for the landscape of men's volleyball. Definitely. A level higher, more exciting games. Now teams also have to make their adjustments. Speaking of adjustments, no adjustments for Coach Tai Bundit. It's the same starting six, you know, kicking things off here in set number two. Meanwhile, a bit of a tweak for Coach Ramos of the Maverick Hard Hitters. Uh, we will see Tan. Tan is already in. Kim Tan, formerly from Arellano. Right. Number 13 in the game for the first time today. Na galing sa Arellano, na isang team sa NCAA. At uh, sisilipit pala tayo yung mga ibang mga bagong mga lalaro para sa kanila. Should they put in the rest of the roster dito sa ating pangalawa at pangatlong sets. All right, let's see the adjustments for Coach Erickson Ramos. As they will try to bounce back here in set number two after getting absolutely okay. blown away. In the opening set, 25-8. The first point going to the hard hitters off a service fault by Ishpul Borosa. They only gave up two free points, talking about Chris Cross in that first set. Uh, dominant Barasa first set win, 25-8. For the hard hitters. All right, that's Franz Macaza who also gives up the point on a service error. Point for they also Chris only had two service errors. Dun sa 17-point <coughs> loss sa unang set. Kaya lang yung kanilang atake na may 5 attack points, siguro nasa mga 5 of 25 to kasama ngayon. You know? I agree. Good pass by Rakaza. Cortez, got it! There was some delay there in that set. A higher set, farther away from the net. More chance for the offensive leader or the offensive player to beat the net defense. First taste of the lead. Yep. At 1-0. At 1-0 and then at 2-1. At 2-1. Wire-to-wire win earlier in the first set para sa Chris Cross. Oh, what a Sigan! Uh, giving Capillan a facial. Grabe yung lakas nun. Again, a misdirection in this combination play. Delayed the two-man block. Kim Malabunga for Chris Ross. 6-6, Kim Malabunga with the serve. Sabrero. Oh, oh yeah. that shot is way off. That was a zero tempo play for Rabino. Right, attempt and shoot. Boy, right play to call at that time. Kaya lang, yung angulong nakuha. Si Rabino ay pa palabas. Imbis na pababa at papasok. There's Coach Erickson Ramos on your screens. Good pass. That hit goes off the block. Off the block. Point for Kim Tan, who also played for the Alpha Omega Elite. Natutuwa ako dun sa PNBF na merong fair play kasama niya. Yes. So, green card. You, uh, if you admit na natouch mo, or that you committed the violation, good pass. Polvorosa out to Garcia. 
Garcia has been a constant for Ishmael Barosa. The FAU Ateneo connection doing wonders. That is the leading scorer right now for Chris Cross. The total of 9 out of the first 29 points para dito sa Chris Cross. 25 in the first, 4 points so far here in set number 2. Service outside for Marasigad as the game is tied at 4. So things we are seeing here in set 2, we did not see at all in set number 1. That's Multiple right. errors, close count. Four all. And the uh, hard hitters taking the lead. Running attack for Intal. Nice dig for Sundiang. Rakaza with a push. Pancake save for Marasigan. Jude Garcia against two blockers. Catches uh, the line. The blockers have to do more. If you just expect to keep that ball alive. Some more defense, parang may hirapan. Baun na baun, straight to zone 5. 10 points already. First player in double digits. Right. Is Jude Garcia. Has gotten the more touches. From Ishpol Borosa. Second service error for Garcia. At, at least uh, three of the first five points of uh, the hard hitters have come from errors from Chris Cross here in set two. Here is John Rabino serving the two time Isaa champion. Oh, nice kill there. Quick side out for Jaro Nikitos. Right now, what you're seeing is pick your poison. No? Lethal and multiple attackers. And then you also have to factor in Team Malabunga at the middle. Yeah. The pin hitters are present. They have been constantly delivering. They put a lot of pressure on the defense as well. Para dito sa hard hitters who are behind by one point. Well, actually, Tal with the serve. And it's into the net. A lot of service faults for the King Crushers. At least that low, no? At Here least that low. Could be four. Set number two. That's right. Wilbert Meantime, Sebrero. the setter, starting setter, Wilbert Sebrero. A nice serve. Polvorosa. Back row for Garcia. Uh, was softened by the net. Sebrero with the ups. Young sets it for Tan. Tan off the block will score against Jaron Riquinton. I was about to say it was too close to the net for Tan to work with. That was a uh, dodge the bullet point. Para to the hard hitters were still ahead by one. And just like that. Yep, they are back up. No, hard hitters. Malapunga ties <laughs> the game. I go to the slide. That's running it by the tallest player right now between these two teams. Ishpul Morosa trying to increase their offensive output as they have succumbed to multiple gift points given up. It's a hard hitters. At least five of those seven points have come from miscues coming from Chris Cross. And how much stronger will the King Crunchers be come mid-April as you see that miss... Receive Ganon there. din naman ang signal pagdating ni Brian Brian Bagunas. Uh, Pero sa ngayon, sabi ng, uh, ng uh, crunchers kami muna. Big name players trying to get their team a good head start. 1.8 for the first technical time of second set. You're still watching the Spiker Surf Open Conference. Bagong tipa ng Maverick Card hitters dito sa Spiker Surf, but their players are no strangers to the league. The lang players na li dito is a mix of players from Vanguard, JRU, Arellano, na nakita na natin ng laro in the last conferences. Ang bago lang daw dito ay tatlo sa players nila, and that includes their two setters. And even though big challenge for them to be facing veterans in their very first game, but they see it as an opportunity para magamit nilang gauge as to where they are right now as they open their campaign. Gentlemen. All right, thank you, Doreen. A tight start to the opening uh, segment of this second set. Because of multiple errors coming from uh, CKC, now we see the human side in them. 
Kanina, Sir parang mga superheroes maglaro. Dalawang beses lang sumala dun sa 25 points na nakuha nila. Rekinton! Sharon Rekinton with a running attack. They're trying not just to stay close, but to take the lead away, which they do at this stage. Up by one. Second set after a 25-8 win. Doon sa unang set, a swift one in 22 minutes. Sebrero out to Cortez. Yes! Well timed. And right now, hindi nagpapaiwan itong Maverick hard hitters, Coach Ronnie. And that's the leading leading scorer right now para dito sa hard hitters. Kung makikita mo kasama ng Eric, inaangat at pinapadiskarte yung mga pumapalo kasi sa quick place, nakukubabawan eh, salung-salo. Combination play, and Marasigan will score. They never get tired of moving. And uh, you see that they have worked hard on that, practice countless hours to execute those plays. Exactly what the doctor ordered here. And for Ishmael Borosa, yan talaga ang kanyang trademark. Not a good pass. Sobrero, tough setup for Tan. Kept alive by Rikinton. Here's a chance ball, the first one of the match for Maverick. A nice block by Intal, kept alive by Cortes. Good save by Cortes. Well, Borosa touches the net. Still good effort coming from Paul Barossa, trying to save that last play. At makikita mo rito dahil sa nagkakaroon ng transition plays, mas may chance ang pumuntos. Yeah. Ang hard hitters kahit paano. And Sebrero has already made this adjustment here in terms of playmaking kasama ng Eric. For the hard hitters. The Quinton with the pass. Paul Barossa out to Intal. Good dig from the back row. By Rakaza and Cortes will score off a block touch. Maverick are up by one again. No 12 offensive blocks here in this set for the hard hitters. They jumped the gun. They dominated. But right now, the hard hitters are competing well here against Chris Cross. I want top by one. What a way to adjust in the second set for Coach Erickson Ramos. A terrific job by the team. What is it that you need to adjust to Sebrero? And that's going to be, oh, right on the line. It looked down really the line, close. Down the line for Jude yeah. Garcia. Once again, the leading scorer rising to the location here. As itong uh, Maverick, Cardinals try to go for a two-point lead. Pero hindi na payagan ni Jude Garcia who scores once again. 14 na kung di ako nagkakamali para kay Jude Garcia. Marasigan serving. 11 all. Chris Cross, King Crutchers just unable to pull away. Oh, and a nice running hit. For John Rabino. All right, Cordes was a threat as he has scored time and again. Frida Rabino for the first type of play executed by Sebrero for the hard hitters. Gayon mas nanguhula, mas nahirapan ng defense rito ng Chris Cross. Hard hitters back on top by one. No, but Jude Garcia to the rescue. Point awarded to Chris Sabi ng hard hitters, boy pa. Sabi ng ating first referee, tumama na. Now even si Coach Ramos was telling Tan, no, it hit the floor already. <laughs> All's good. Oh, uh, yep. 12 all. Tied at 12. Halfway. Very competitive second set. Combination play. Tan from the back row. Got it. It's Definitely higher than the five attack points here. In this set for the hard hitters, as Alvarado prepares to re-enter the match. Yuf Rabino. Kyle Honrado. From STI, comes from Caloocan. Alam mo, nakita ko sa kanila, ang oldest player or most veteran player is just 26. And we have to point that out. Tama ba yan kasama ng Eric? I believe so. Very young team, really. Ganun din naman, Coach, itong King Crunchers. Oldest player is in Tal at 29. Meron si Mangaring, alam ko, nasa halos 30 na. Mangaring? Oo, born 1993, so turned 31. Juvie Mangaring out of AAC. Correct. AAC, a best libero in his own right. Here's in Tal serving, tied again at 13 all. Sundiang with the pass. Rakaza! A dig by Garcia. Oops. Polvorosa crashing into the sideline. Sebrero, back row to Cortes. Nowhere to go. Malabunga right there for the rejection. They tried. Sebrero went for the pipe. Coach Ramos says thumb up. Dito kay Sebrero. May misdirection, pero hindi ko magat si Malabunga. 
Dito nasakta ng uh, Chris Cross Crunchers dito sa ating pangalawang set with five service errors. That's five of the 13 points. Ooh. Good coverage, but no second touch. Another block by the King Crunchers, and they take the lead by one. I believe that's the first offensive block here in the set para sa kanila after registering 12. Actually, the lead is now two points for because the King Crunchers. Parang pinakamalaki na ito sa kanila dito sa set na ito. Correct. Whereas in the first set, they even led by as much as 12 or 13. 13. Diba? At tuloy-tuloy. Yep. Good pass. La Casa. Yes! Good recovery by the setter. Able to save that play. Stops a two-point front. Cuts the lead to one. And you love how the hard hitters, Coach Ronnie, are finding their rhythm, finding their groove. So, while it's not that hard to play, it's intimidating. It's intimidating. Yeah, of course. I was about to say, it's intimidation. I mean, they know they're going up against some of the best. But right now, they're showing up for these hard hitters. Oh, nothing to lose, everything to gain. I believe we have a tight count at 15 apiece. The score is 15 all. All right, it is 15 all. Their own version of a two point run. This is the playmaker. What's been key to this uh, close set? Oh, oh a nice block by the hard hitters against Jano Riquinton. And the lead is back with the Maverick hard hitters. 16 15. Second technical timeout in the second set. Arena Plus, Astigs Sports. Uh, you see the crowd inside the Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Checking out the first of our double header. There's Mosi Ravenna, our tournament director. That's the Eleanor Navarro. Of course, that's part of uh, the think tank on uh, Sports Vision. Para sa Spikers Turf. Ang sister ni Miss Rhea Navarro. Yan. Ooh, Malabuma. Punching through the double block. Yeah. Reintroducing himself, Ooh. by the way, because yep. he started the carnage for Chris Cross in that uh, demolition job. But this is nowhere close to what we saw in the oh, first yeah. set. Not and, uh, a lot of credit goes to uh, Coach Ramos and his yeah. players because they did not surrender. They just and regrouped. They, they played better, a lot better in the second set. And the figures will uh, show later after this set. Because, to your point, Astan gives the lead back to the hard hitters. A lot of other teams, coach, after you get destroyed 25 to 8 in the second, in the first set, you're not showing up in the next two sets. Baka tutupi, no? Yeah. Pero may kita mo dito, basag na basag na yung mga double block. Iba-iba na yung pupuntos. And this is a big credit to Sebrero. That's right. Tan with a nice serve. Good pass, though. Polvorosa, combination play. Rekin, Ton! Look out below! Just a star started doing it really. Again, that was a piston play. Take a look at this. That misdirection. And then, Rekenton. Also a lethal attacker at that position. At 6'2". At that spot, rather. 6'2", 23 years old, Rekenton. But the answer by Kabilian. So players who could not score. Yeah. And were blocked multiple times in set one. And able to find that opening. Kung bagay, it took for them, took a while for them, kasi nga, hindi nakaporma eh. Yeah. Pero ito, dito, hindi lang sa basta nakakaporma, lumalamang pa. One point lead for the hard hitters. Kabilyan, again, the second best middle blocker, season 98 of wow. the NCAA. And there's a kill block by, by the hard hitters, and they're up by two. This was a 15-13 lead earlier by Chris Cross before the second technical timeout. Now nahan pa sila with a three-point run. And since that 15-13 count, it has been a 6-2 run 
anchored on Sebrero. Oh, but that service out. And right now, if you're Cabillan and the hard hitters, this is something you have to take care of. I mean, you can't give up three points to a team as solid as the King Crunchers. Right now, the hard hitters still leading by one. And if they keep this up, they might just, might just steal a set from the King Crunchers. That's a part of the plan. They get a kill block, the King Crunchers. As they say, it's a race to 21st. Yeah. Samang Eric, punahan sa 20. From a two-point run. It's tied at 19 here. So this is where composure and yep. stability comes in. The finishing kick late in the set. Good pass. Cordes against two blockers. That's outside. Right to score off the block. There's going to be a challenge here, a block touch challenge by Coach Erickson Ramos. Let's see if he's right. Because if he is, the game, they will go up by one. And these players uh, quickly communicated with uh, Coach Ramos. To, that there was? To contest. Challenge? All right. Debuts for these two teams. Two new, two, two new teams among uh, multiple teams that we have here as first timers. And the uh, key players from the Signal HD Spikers making their move to join a different franchise, Samantala. Yung mga beach volleyball national players natin ay nandito, nagsama-sama. Yep. Ang multiple bronze medalists sa Southeast Asian Games. Sa beach volleyball. Right. We're talking about Rick. Bagay, Rick, si, si Sirundina at si yeah. Bernadette Pons at Jovi Gonzaga. And Dich Rodriguez. O tama, ay bumalik na rin sa indoor, indoor. volleyball. Uh, Kurong Arpasto, Jude Garcia, Jaron Requinton, these are all beach volleyball players. Ran Ran Abdiya lang hindi sumama eh. <laughs> na iwan, na, still playing beach volleyball for the national team. Along with a new set of players, uh, including uh, our, our colleague, AJ Pareha. Tama. Kasi nagkulang na, no? Yeah. Oh, there's a void. But, uh, of course, Abdiya plays in their volleyball. Also, for the Air Force. Oh, yes. We won their first match, by the way. Uh, two days ago. Uh, this review taking a bit of time. It was the hit by Cordes. It went out, but Coach Ramos uh, saying there was a block touch. And these gentlemen from uh, the Maverick hard hitters doing a pretty good job here in set number two after getting blown out in the first set. 25 to 8. They led by as many as two points, the Maverick hard hitters. Uh, they were down by as many as two. So uh, the King Crunchers have never been able to pull away here in the second set because of the more versatile and dynamic offense we've been seeing uh, put together by Sebrero. Sebrero. And of course, uh, the hitters have also delivered. Delivered as well. Uh, we the blocking has been there for them, something we didn't see from them in that set one loss. <laughs> There's uh, Coach Erickson Ramos <laughs> with some gang signs. No, just, just kidding. Coach Ramos started with the team February 1. They started training, uh, so a little more than a month. He is a former Letran Knight. And he also is a part of the coaching staff of Coach Kung Fu Reyes of the uh, Cheritigo crossovers. A familiar face, of course. Definitely. Uh, in volleyball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, officials still deliberating. Here we go. And there is a partial, very partial by the pinky finger block touch, but it's still a block touch. So that point will go to the Maverick hard hitters. Wait a minute. There's, there's no touch. Wow. All right. It says unsuccessful challenge. That point will go to... The official score will be. Right now, the scoreboard says the hard hitters get the point, but they lose the challenge, so it should be the other way around. It should be 2019 in favor of the King Crunchers. Anyway, the game continues. Tan, the Quinton with a dig. Polvorosa out to Garcia. 
<laughs> that by Rakaza. Right. Here comes Cor Longest rally so far, and Coach Taibun did. And this one goes out. Changing thumb up signs. Why not? Tama ba yung score natin? It should be yeah, 21. It should be, it should be the other way around. Our score on your screen sir, is correct. It's correct. 21 19. The Coliseum score is incorrect. No, kasi kanina pinag usapan natin. Race to 20, di ba? Yeah. A nice push by Rabino. Garcia. Not to be denied. So difficult to stop. Not to be denied. Good communication. Pag nag-alanganin, pag pumalso, babato sa open. So it was 19 all earlier, 3.1, aided by that call and that the challenge. Call. At, uh, this is a big 3.1 late here in this set. Para sa Chris Cross. Time out for the hard hitters will listen in. Gumalaw na tayo dito, hindi na tayo makakahabol dito. Sayang lang siya. So ngayon, di ba tatay spiker natin? Seb, Seb, Seb. Pwede ka magtumba. Dip na si JM. JM, dito mo dalihin yung bola mo. Kim, iwan ka dun ah. Iwan ka dun. Pre, padulo, padulo mo pa ng konti. Kundin, ah, sige, sige, sige. Kapit na natin, kapit na natin. Nagawa na natin eh. Panindigan na natin. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Good news mga kapatid, napapanood na rin tayo sa pinakabagong Free to Air channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy ang RPTV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, DTT Channel 19 at 18. Uh, sa higit 300 cable at satellite uh, providers at sa signal play. Dan off the block and... These hard hitters get a side out, stop the three point run of the King Crunchers. Uh, Tan has done an excellent job here. So defense, so attack, yeah. keeps them in the hunt. Mo, just like you state, this is a matter of fact. Yung service errors ng Chris Cross really put them in a yeah. hole dito sa set na ito, no? Gave them some problems. Overpass. What a dig by Sundiang. Sobrero keeping it alive. Cordes off the block. Got it. Two point run for the hard hitters. Makita mo, dinidelay nila, no? Hanggang pababa yung blockers. And that was, has been a big uh, change of strategy here. This was a very fine save coming from Sundiang. Modi delay. Antayin yung blockers. And then saka papaluin. Chance to tie on the tap, oh, sir. Oh, my. Service at her. And just an absolute... Miss time and miss hit. He was planning to, out, to outsmart really the receivers, no? Substitution for the number of the number of the number of the number of back in and seeing action for the first time. Juan Miguel Galcana, former best setter in the Isaa season 14. Uh, this time, Arpasto, Krong Arpasto <laughs> will check in along with Jewel Asia. Krong Arpasto, we mentioned, former USD Tiger, and beach volleyball player. Southeast Asian Games bronze medalist. Hindi lang right. isa, hindi lang dalawa, kundi tatlong yeah. beses. All, all, all three players are here. At saka si Jewel Asia, of course, who looks very slim. Also a multiple champion. Played for the Signal HG Spikers. For some time. Oh, and there's a nice hit. Well, that's outside yeah, though exactly. for Nakaza. It looked good. Definitely, there was power, much force on that pipe play. There's a challenge. The there's going to be a challenge here, a ball in, ball out challenge the for challenge Coach Ramos. This is his final challenge. He lost the challenge earlier, which put them in a three point hole. If this holds, CKC will not get to set point yet. If it does not, then they get three set points. Talk about crisscross crunchers. And again, the Maverick hard hitters on your screens. Losing by 17, was it, Coach, in the first set? 25-8, right? 8. 17. Um, today, here in set number two, they are just down by two late in the second set. A well, much better turnaround for the Maverick hard hitters in set number two. Hey. 
And again, officials taking a while to check out if it indeed hit the line. Hindi madali yan, huh? Multiple angles that you have to look at. Yeah, at more than 20 cameras used for the challenge system. First game for both these brand new teams in the open uh, conference of the Spikers Turf. That's correct. And again, we review the results of uh, the first two matches last March 13. Signal beating Navy in three sets, while Philippine Air Force prevailing over Richmark in four grueling sets. One round, tournament format, yep. single round robin. Top four, single round robin, and then top, top two teams, of course, in the finals. Next best two, battle for a third, both in a best of three series. Right now, the hard hitters hoping this challenge goes their way. Well, eight games to Malabas to Bawa team. Bawa. Samang, Eric, That's right, since coach. we have nine teams uh, participating here in our 2024 Spikers Turf Open Conference. And uh, exciting times, really. Of course, uh, with the arrival of Chris Cross. But uh, definitely one of the teams to beat. Because I'm, of course, a multiple Spikers Turf champion. Na signal HD yep. Spikers. All right, there's apparently an issue. They can't, have not been able to review it. So Coach Ramos will going to be, will or will be talking to our officials. Pareho sila na pinatawa kasama yeah. ng Eric. But si Coach Taibun dito has elected to send his assistant coach. Okay, so I think there is video, but we we're unable to show it on the big screen. Ito yung pagiging conclusive kasi yung importante. Upon review, there is no block touch. So it's an unsuccessful challenge as you hear the kick crunchers rejoicing. No more challenges remaining for uh, Coach Ramos and the hard hitters. And they will call a timeout now. Uh, they're down by three set points, 24 21. We'll listen to Coach Ramos and the hard hitters. One <laughs> natin habulin. Pwede pa yan, hindi pa tapos. One good pass, atake tayo, cover it. Cover it tayo. Go, 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 go. Subok tayo, subok. Go, 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 go. One-on-one, heart-to-heart -on -one -heart conversations with Mark Pingris and Gilas Legends tackling life stories on and off court. Puso to Puso exclusive on Pilipinas Live. Uh, download and register now for free. Serving for the set is Jewel Asia. Serving for the set. Another service, service fault. Uh, this has been one of their weaknesses here in set number two, Coach Ronnie. Parang pang anim na yan. Matikin na ng mahaba eh. No? Uh, Pero naulit na umalik. naman. But they uh, still have two set points here in set number two. Garcia. All right. Here's a chance for the hard hitters. Ooh. Terrible set there. Difficult get. That's an over set. For Palisok and an easy point for the finish for the King Crunch. Courtesy of Arbasto. Overset. Into a joust. Slimmest of margins. Para dito sa team ng Chris Cross, but enough to build a two-set advantage. Laban's hard fighting, Maverick Hard.
after a blowout opening set uh, where the King Crunchers won by 17, 25 to 8. The Maverick Hard Hitters coming alive in set number two, although they bow down. They only lose by three points. So much more competitive set between these two teams. And part of the reason for uh, the struggles of the King Crunchers was their faulty serves. And also, I mean, not to take away from the Hard Hitters, but what a terrific job by Cordes, Tan, um, Capillad also contributing, Rakaza, but We've got to give credit where credit is due. A terrific setting by Sebrero oh, of yes. the hard hitters in the second set, Coach Roy. No doubt. A big reason why they almost won set number two. A lot of highlights para sa hard hitters. Something that we did not see. Yep. Dun sa 25-8 loss sa unang set. And they even had more attack points. And that's a big credit para dito kay Sebrero. Yung errors ng CKC, karamihan dyan ay from the service line. But in the end, it boiled down once again to the steady nerves ng kanilang multiple and talented hitters. And I thought that that uh, situational sub, sending in Arbasto and Jewel Asia, also augured well here para sa crisscross. We're now on top by two sets, laban sa wala pa po para dito sa Maverick hard hitters. So set number three, just about to get underway. And after that impressive turnaround by the hard hitters, you expect them to step onto the court with a much more solid uh, as you look at uh, some tweets here coach Tai, welcome back from supreme supremo cutie and the hard hitters to come back uh, with much more resolve on cutie coach Tai. <laughs> sabini it looks like a vanny gandler account ron marza coach Tai did this back uh, but with the spikers turf 2024 with crisscross King Crunchers. A lot of following with what he has done of course. in his uh, many years coaching Ateneo and of course the Creamline Cool Smashers. Another class in training meron si Coach Tai Bundit. You also have to uh, give credit to the quality of the players that they picked up in the offseason. We mentioned uh, some of the top players in college <laughs> um, who've gained experience in the pros and in international competitions. Champion players in the UAP. Yeah. And uh, medalists on the international stage, not just in beach volleyball, but also in indoor, indoor volleyball. Yeah. Because some right. of these players saw action for that silver medal team. Right. Doon sa 2019 Southeast Asian sea Games. Na ginawa dito sa Manila. That's right. Malabunga with a push. Good dig. Tan. Oh, blocked up top, but there is a net touch, I think, on Requinton. Yes. So again, just like in the previous set, hard hitters nailed the first point. The block was by the Quinton, but on the way down, he touched the net. Garcia overpass. Easy put away for a 2-0 start by the hard hitters. This answers your question, Kazama and Eric. Huh? Should they play with more confidence? And more resolve, and that's exactly what they're doing. Sebrero. That, that was his serve. Remember that crucial service error that came from Tan. Yeah. yeah. Late in set number two. Very late in set number two. Meantime, Ishpul Borosa. A three time UAP champion. A finals MVP in season 77 of the UAP. And also a medalist in the Southeast Asian Games. Hindi ako nagkakamali. Tama ba yan, Rick? Uh, o, o naglaro lang sa no. Southeast Asian Games? Yeah. Uh, he's not part of the 2019 team. For sure, coach. There is a nice push that even one of the best liberos unable to get an up. Sumang Sumangid coming up short. Also a decorated defensive specialist. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is... He was part of the 31st Southeast Asian Games. He's a three-time UAP champion. Four-time champion with Signal. Best libero in the UAP season 81. And best libero four times in the Spiker serve. Right. Service fault for... Uh, this is Rakaza. That is the second service fault para sa kanila. Total service errors. Siyempre, mas marami di hamak para dito sa... CKC. Sebrero, tough set. Cortez picked up by Sumangid. Marasigan, softened by the block. Much better rally. Greater exchanges. Oh, that could have been a double for Rakaza Cortez. That's picked up again by Sumangid. Garcia. Got 
Yeah, got the line. Kanisha coming from the Garcia, yeah, and they will contest. Challenge called early here in set number three by Coach Ramos. Ooh. That's a very brave challenge, I would say, because it looked like it clipped the line, but that's opposite from where we are. So maybe they have a much better, they had a much better look at it. Maverick hard hitters, newly formed team, just started practicing February 1. But they are giving the King Crunchers one of the heavy favorites to win the championship in the open conference of the Spikers turf. A run for their money here in set number three. Hard hitters up by one. And they only lost by three points in the second set. All right, here it is. It's just, I don't know, can't tell. It's in, they say it's in. That's clearly in. If the ball didn't flatten, it might have been out. But from our angle, you can see kiss the line. Yeah, you can kiss the line. But you'll never know until you see the replay, really. So, unsuccessful challenge once again. First attack point here in the set. Game is tied. Three all. Riquinton with the serve. Not a good pass. Sebrero. Go to Tan once again. Blocked by Garcia. Sundiang sets it up for Cordes. Block. And it goes outside. Cordes now able to use the blockers to his benefit. Multiple times. What, what about Sundiang acting yeah. as the secondary setter? He's done well doing that task. Oy. Another bad serve for Cabilla. So four points para sa CKC. Three service errors para sa hard hitters. And if we do our math correctly, that's over 60% ng total output ng uh, CKC or Criss Cross coming from the hard hitters. Malabunga with the serve. Tan off the block. And Tan, along with Cortes, they are now able to use the blockers again to their benefit. Bouncing it off very strongly. Ito yung adjustment na kinailangan nilang gawin na hindi nila nagawa. Yeah. Doon sa unang set na nagawa na nila from the second set up to this part of the third. Tan with a nice serve. Good pass by Garcia. Running attack for uh, Intal. Malabunga had one slight play earlier. Now is the turn of uh, former national player Rex Intal to get to that pet move of his. Tied at five, set number three. Close out time here para sa Chris Cross. Para si Gan, six-time champion with Signal before moving to the King Crunchers. Finals MVP, team captain of the HD Spikers. That's right. Para si Gan, but it goes outside. Alam mo si Jose Marasigan may not have always been the top scorer para sa HD Spikers, but he provided leadership and stability. And his demeanor really speaks volumes. Yeah. Sa anong klaseng uh, malalaro at teammate itong si Isay Marasigan. So Two-time UAAP champion, an MVP in beach and indoor in season 78. And he was the rookie of the year, UAAP season 74. Back row into the net for Rakaza. Miscommunication between Rakaza and Tan. Biggest need para dito sa King Crunchers were down 2-0 to start the third set. So since that time, 7-3 run here for the blue and orange. Rasigan, one of the veterans, most senior players in the team at 29 years old. Chance ball here. Intal with a push. Sebrero passes out to Cortez. Blocked. I believe they already have 15 kill blocks. Oh, 17. And the first here in the third set. Major difference. They needed that one. Three point lead. First technical timeout. Starting third set.
And of the first technical You're timeout. still watching the Spiker Surf yes. Open Conference. Narinig niyo siguro kanina, Eric and Coach Ronnie, na sinisigaw ng King Crunchers ang crisscross happy. And that is because they're adopting Coach Ty's signature happy, happy mindset. At kwento nga, ni Isay Marasigan, malaki daw yung difference na nagagawa ng ganong mindset. Because maliban sa it helps them deal with the hard training, it also relieves the pressure on them. Considering yung high expectations ng mga fans on social media. Kaya naman, sabi nga ng team, this first game just feels like the first day of school. Eric and Coach Marami salamat, Doreen. Well, I like that. First yeah. day in school. And they look happy on the court. Marasigan, back row. Tan pancake save is no good. Biggest need continues to build. The service errors have diminished para dito sa Chris Cross. At napunta sa panic ng uh, yeah. Maverick Heart Eaters and that caused them dearly lose momentum. Remember that this was a 2-0 count to open up the set. So, 9-3 run here generated by Marasigan and the rest of the King Crunchers. Cordes on an off-system play, underhand pass, chance ball again for the King Crunchers. Garcia on a combination play, got it. Favorite recipient right now of Ishpol Morosa was in double figures early in the second set. Kill blocks, multiple attack points, five point lead, good separation, third set action. Para dito sa Cree, ah, sa si Casey. Purong muna tayo sa pasa. Like, ah, let's go, let's go. Tulungan niyo, tulungan. Pag may pasa ka ganang, oh, pwede ka umikot. Pag umikot, nakakapag-long run dito, pwede siya magdaling naman. Ah. Go. Talo ah, talo ah. Sige, go. Angat, angat natin, angat natin. Huwag tayo maano. Okay, mabili. Break, boom. Go. RPTV na ang official at exclusive na channel ng Pambansang Liga ng Bayan on Free to Air. Sabay-sabay natin yung subaybayan ng PBA Season 48 Philippine Cup. All games live dito sa RPTV para sa Pinoy. 10-5 advantage. Uh, again, you see Ricky Palu, the president of Sports Vision on your left side and on the right side. Of course, Liza Valdez, the president of Spikers Church. Also a member of the Creamline Cool Smashers, of course. Yeah. Ah, nice block. The multi title yeah. Cool Smashers was rampage, was continues it? to build. Seven championships already, looking for number eight this season. Natuloy tuloy, di ba? Natalo lang dun sa team from Japan, eh, di ba? Kurashki Ablaze. Tama, di ba? Right. Invitational Conference. Kaya dumami ang ating mga mentors from Japan as of late. Oh, oh. Six point lead right now for the King Crunchers. And Cordez finally gets one through. There's a nice spike <laughs> by Ishpol Morosa. One out of two. One attempt in the first set. First attempt here in set number three. Look at the half turn coming from the native of Imus Cavite. You rarely see Ishpol Morosa make a turn and just hit the ball like that. Pero iba yung ano eh, iba yung form ni Ishpol Morosa ngayon. Makita mo, kondisyon na kondisyon uh, yeah. talaga. Of course. Seven point lead. Big scoring run here in set number three. Overpass, almost. There's a net touch by Sebrero. Mafei can dito ng uh, Chris Cross na kala sa sabay sa possible joust. Plus one for Chris Cross. A jogger not here in set number three for an eight point lead here. Thirteen serving five. Another good serve, another bad pass here for the hard hitters. Cordes, block, Cordes, digs. The shot that was blocked. Intal puts it away. I've seen that many times over. Rewind, fast track, 2024. Still producing the same result. Yep. Quick play. Look at that shoot set for the nine point lead. Intal delivers once again. What about the control of Ishpal Morosa? He was in a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle with uh, Sebrero dun sa pangalawang set. Mas nahirapan sila. Pero sa ngayon, komportable na naman. Ten-point lead. Another kill block. Reaching the 20-point mark in terms of kill blocks. Garcia. And just superhuman blocking ability today. Solid, eh, no? 19 kill blocks. Garcia now with the team best. 17 points. Ishpol Rosa excellent sets. Bibilangin natin yung maya maya. 
Sobrero looking for somebody to give the ball to. Finally, Rabino delivers the side out, but not after what is what, what was it? An eight-point run already? Baka mahigit eh. Yung five points na yun, kanina pa. Tawid ng first technical timeout. Muntik ng tumawid ng second technical timeout at nasa lima pa rin. Hard hitters. Cordes with the serve. Great pass by Sumangit. Garcia blocked, but it goes outside. No two-point run given up. Just like that. We see CKC up nine. Hindi, sampu na ito, di ba? Should be. Second technical timeout. Oh, ten-point lead. Biggest lead. Largest advantage is at the break. Goat, uh, generally, sa lahat ng athletes, of course, si Kobe Bryant, uh, number one since uh, when I was still a kid. Until now, of course. So, volleyball, actually, to be honest, volleyball player ako, pero wala ako masyadong kilalang volleyball player na as in angat. So, kinalakihan ko lang talaga this, uh, dito sa Philippines na ang mga volleyball pa usual volleyball players. The influence. He doesn't look up to any uh, volleyball star as Honrado gets a point off a cross court hit. He hit tight. Honrado tries again. A push picked up by Garcia. Intal. <laughs> yes. But enough. He beats the floor defense. Closing out time here for the blue and orange. At makita mo, na-release na yung a little bit of st stress yeah. dahil dun sa tight second set. So the good thing is they still prevail dun sa set 2 na kung saan sila uh, nag-habol mm -hmm. ng multiple times. As we see, uh, Pagalay, a 45-point scorer in the NCAA in that record-breaking performance playing for another Spikers turf team at uh, kumbaga eh ito na yung panduluhan no? pwede yep. mong sabihin yun para kay Bagalay uh, Chu and Giga also in the game for the first time well UAP champion with Ateneo Pem of course like what coach mentioned a terrific offensive player there's a hit from the back row Jude Garcia Sebrero wow. Atutan Intal with the pass. Here's Pam Bagalay. Got it down the line. <laughs> uh, this is a very talented player, really. At saka, may kita mo yung energy, yeah. yung pagiging isa sa mga kasama, mas kaya nung team maglaro, laging nandun. A game player, really. Good addition or good part of the roster for Coach Tai Bundit. 11 point lead. Ang ginagawa natin nandito. Tapos pag tumaas yung bola, wala na tayong ginagawang reaction. Pwede naman tayo mag-overhead. Ginagawa naman natin sa insayo yun. Bakit yung ilaga natin? Di ba? So commit lang tayo. Hindi pwedeng pag lumagpas na sa akin yung bola, wala na akong gagawing action. Ah, pasahan nyo muna ulit and then atake tayo. Pilitin natin patasin yung isko. Kaya naman yun. Ilaban nyo na lang. Wala na tayong yung ano. Ilaban nyo na lang. Kaya na lang. Kaya na Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit signal.tv slash switch for more details. Um, LA is also a former best spiker in the NCAA. NCAA. And played for Mapua. A Cardinal. And also a beach volleyball champion for the NCAA. I'm not sure if he's MVP in beach volleyball in NCAA, but... During the time that it's not so popular the sport, it's one of the most famous. 11 pointed earlier, down to 10. 
kanina, Carrera sa 20 puntos kasama ng Eric. And it took that uh, challenge call for itong uh, Chris Cross to get to that uh, 20th point. Back set para Sigan. Back row. Got it. Good shift coming from Paul Borosa. Action was on the left wing. Suddenly shifted to the right. And that opened up the floor and space for Isai Marasigan. And that's what you need. Space, time to beat the defense. Excellent set, no doubt, for Ish Paul Morosa. 17 excellent sets para kay Ish. Honrado with a nice pass. Kapilyan, yes! Kapilyan. Single block will not get it done. Kapilyan able to get the hard hitters their ninth point. They only scored eight points. That set one loss. Almost one that set two dogfight. But they came up short. Bam, Magalai. Got it. On a cross court hit. Almost everyone has played already for the King Crunchers. The only players who have not seen court time is Vince Mangulabnan, uh, also Gian Glorioso, and Jewel Asia. Jewel Asia na glaro. It's a second set. Jewel Asia, so actually, so dalawa na lang. And uh, Juvi Mangaring in the game for the first time, uh, Libero, number 11, for the King Crunchers. Just showing signs of life here. That was Kabilian once again scoring. We'll check the numbers. Para dito Kabilian in terms of uh, offensive output. Five in the match. Para dito kay Kabilian. Ooh, another service error for Kabilian. This is, if I'm not mistaken, this is the third already. At least. Yep. All right, so Gian Glorioso checking in. Uh, so only Vince Molopnan has not seen action for the King Crunchers. The uh, family of setters, no? Yeah. It's a big name in the UAP in his own right. Definitely. <laughs> Served by Chu and Jiga. Got a laugh from his teammates. There's a an overreach against the hard hitters. Closer and closer to close out time here for Chris Cross. 22, Chu and Jiga, Phil Nigerian, former Rookie of the Year in the UAP. Here's Tan with the push, blocked by Marasigan up top. Second touch by Sebrero. Tan tries again, and it hits. It's oh, they're saying touch. net touch against Marasigan. Substitution, meantime, for the hard hitters as John Klimako is in the game for the first time. Eleven point lead for the King Crunchers. Hard hitters serving eleven to twenty-two. Glorioso gets his first point. You like the scoring balance, no? Para dito sa yep. blue and orange. Of course, uh, the scoring leaders are as follows: Jude Garcia and Kim Alabunga, both in double figures. But really, other players can score in double figures easily. But Ishmael Barosa choosing those top two attackers. And then a sprinkle coming from Isai Marasigan as well. Uh, meantime, Jewel Asia returning along with Krung Arpasto for the finishing touches to this impending three set win. For the crisscross King Crunchers. Good pass. Tan. Magalay picks it up. Garcia. Tan with a dig. Sebrero. A nice hit coming from Chiodones. Arpasto against three blockers. Overpass by Honrado. And this is going to be match point. Uh, 13 match points for the King Crunchers. So same narrative that we saw in that first set uh, yes. demolition job win coming from uh, CKC. Winning at 25-8. But this was not the way this set started, by the way. Kasama yeah. ng Eric. Lama, dahil lamang pa sa umpisa. That's true. Ang uh, black and green ng uh, hard hitters. Jodones sends it into the net. And that is the finish. That's for Chris uh, hard hitters uh, learn the hard way <laughs> that they are going up against one of the kings of uh, men's volleyball. They gave their best. 
they play their best volleyball dun sa set 2 na kung saan pwede nilang naitulak itong labang ito sa posibleng fourth set. But in the end, it boiled down to the roster depth, the talent yeah. level, the genius of Ish Polvorosa, and the peak conditioning of uh, CKC en route to winning in three straight sets. A sweep by the crisscross King and Crunchers and the against the Maverick hard hitters in their first game of the Open Conference of the Spikers Turf. Very impressive debut for the Crunchers. And this sends a strong message to the rest yeah. of the seven other teams seeing action here in the Open Conference of the Spikers Turf. You're still watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference. In a battle between two debuting teams, it is the Crisscross King Crunchers dominating over the Maverick Hard Hitters. And I'm here with the best player of the game, Jude Garcia. Hey Jude, congratulations on the win. Kanina na kwento mo sa akin na malaking adjustment for you playing beach volleyball the past four years. Naglaro ka for Navy, pero two games lang. So big adjustment yung pagbabalik mo sa indoor volleyball. Kamusta yung buong experience, yung pakiramdam to go back to playing indoor volleyball with this team? Um, sobrang saya. At uh, nalabas ko na yung, ano, yung, yung baga... Jitters. Oh, jitters <laughs> sa first game. So, yun. Sobrang ganda ng pinakita namin all throughout the game. So, sobrang thank you kay Coach Day na yung tiwari sa mga players andun. So, yun. Nice song ko yun, Jude. Nabanggit mo na rin si Coach Day. Balita ko, mahirap daw talaga yung training nyo the past two months. <laughs> Paano yung nag-pay off tonight uh, considering yung pinakita niyong performance? Ano lang, happy-happy lang. Lagi sinasabi ni Coach Tai. Happy-happy, heartstrong, tapos mag-enjoy lagi sa game. Kaya yun yung lagi niyang sinasabi sa amin. Um, binabati ko pala yung mga family ko sa Pangasinan. And then sa mga fans ng Chris Cross, yun. And sa wife ko, nandito kayo na nun. Thank you and congratulations, Jude, and to the Criss Cross King Crunchers. Excited kami makita kung ano ang mga susunod yung gagawin. But for now, we send it over to you, Eric and Coach Ronnie. All right, maraming salamat, Doreen. Congratulations, Jude Garcia. What a start for him. 18 points, 5 blocks. Uh, 5 blocks. 5 blocks. That's Actually, huge. it was a major choice between uh, Ishpal Morosa, who really set the tone in terms of playmaking right. and uh, energy level. And uh, of course, itong si Garcia na napakaganda lang pinakita in his return to indoor volleyball. After four years. Yes. Uh, May jitters pa ba yan? <laughs> May jitters pa yan, ha? Impressive debut for, uh, of course, for Coach Ty Bundin and the rest of the uh, just imagine the how much better they can get, Coach Ronnie, after they take or get rid of the jitters and then get more flow uh, going moving forward in the oh, Open Conference. Definitely. Exciting times to come as we take a look at the, those numbers after this 14-point uh, win. And again, superior offense. And what about those four blocks once again? 20 blocks. Or maybe even more for a team making its first appearance here. And uh, just like in the first set, only had two errors compared to a lot of service miscues dun sa pangalawang set para dito sa crisscross crunchers. All in all, those two sets, good picture, good glimpse on how good this team will be. But for the Maverick hard hitters, still enough effort for them to contend well dun sa pangalawang set. And they will be better, of course, in the next coming games and in the weeks to come. It is a royal debut for the King Crunchers as they win their first match against the Maverick Hard Hitters. Coming up, Savage Spin Doctors taking on the VNS Nasty Griffins. Game number two of this 
doubleheader in day two of the Open Conference of the Spikers Turf. Thanks to our director, Raul Ocampo, for Doreen Suay Baggio, my partner, Coach Ronnie Magsanok. I'm Eric Tiban.